The gates reopened this week here at Rocky Point Campground for the first time since May 24th. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is now trying to attract more campers so that it can make up the business it lost because of flooding. At least two times each summer, the Rocky Point Campground in Wagner gets a visit from Peggy Tackentine and her family. We like to bring our granddaughters out here. We started coming out here before we moved to Oklahoma with them, and we just enjoy it out here. Peaceful, quiet. When she and her husband pulled up this morning, they had no idea the campground reopened the day before after shutting down 56 days ago. Well, we cheered at our first camper that come in yeah, when yeah. they come in, and they didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Gene Jackson and his wife Myra helped run the campground for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. At one point, the lake rose to more than 27 feet above normal here. That left all but about six campsites underwater. Most of the campsites, you can't even see them. They is completely underwater. Tables, the lantern hangers, everything. Now that the water's gone down enough to reopen everything, Jean's wife tried something new to attract more campers. She put this wind sock up to try to help get attention that we're open now because people have been saying our gate closed for so long. Only a few weeks remain of the peak camping season, so he doubts they can make up the business they already lost. For Peggy Tackentine and her family, though, they don't mind the campground being so empty. Well, I got my own private beach. <laughs> you know, it's just, where is everybody? The owner of a nearby store is asking the same question. She told me that shutting down the campground here really hurt her business, too. She hopes things will pick back up again now that campers are allowed back inside. Reporting from Lake Fort Gibson, Will Dupree, two works for you.